Hello, and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Beard. I'm Jason Fox, a.k.a. Lee Klaus Beard, a.k.a. Jason Fox. Today we'll be discussing a tweet that might just be the most retweeted and most liked tweet that I've ever put out there, and that is, you cannot become the person or agency you wish to be by doing the type of work you wished you never had to do. Now, if you think about that for a second, it seems rather obvious. You can't get there from here if you're taking a more circuitous route and doing the types of things that are not going to progress your career or your agency towards the goal that you have set for yourself. So, that means you can't be doing, frankly, junk for your entire career and think that someday someone's going to give you a Super Bowl spot to do. That's just not how it works. Now, often we find ourselves, through no fault of our own, in situations where we're doing that sort of work. I get that. Sometimes we've made choices that lead us uh, to doing that sort of work. Sometimes we accept doing that sort of work because we have bigger things to take care of, like families, the bills, those sorts of things. I get that. I've been in that position myself many, many times. I've got a family of five to support, plus the dog, and the dog doesn't care about my creative fulfillment. He just wants to be fed. The same really applies to my kids as well. But we need to realize that when we're accepting that sort of work and doing that sort of work, we're not advancing. We might be plateauing. We might be trading off future opportunities for today's paycheck. Sometimes that's okay. Sometimes we really need to say no. So you need to weigh those decisions carefully. Now, I get it if you're an agency owner or part of leadership and you've decided to take on a client you otherwise might not because, well, you'd rather not be laying people off. I think that's kind of good, but I hope that's a short-term solution. If you're doing that and then hoping to grow from it as opposed to then trying to get a better client to replace that client as you keep staff flat, well, maybe reconsider that. Otherwise, you become maybe large, bloated, but not so good. And I would hope. As I said a couple of days ago, you would rather fight the proliferation of mediocrity instead of being someone who advances it. So there you go. It's a trade off. It's always a trade off. It's the real world. But know the trade off. Know what you're getting yourself into or trying to get yourself out of. I'm Jason Fox. Have a good one.